Hello, boring vlogs people. How are you this fine day? Me? Well, I'm just dandy. Uh, you know, just on my way out to Costco. Where'd those people go? There were just people here in my parking garage, and now they're gone. They have magically disappeared. Uh, but yeah, going out to Costco to grab some dinner, because you know, they have pizza by the slice, and it's good pizza. And, uh, so I'm probably just gonna go and head out and get a couple pieces of pizza, and then, uh, my roommate and I are gonna go to the gym. Woohoo! Uh, back when, uh, you know, we were both in San Diego, and we were at our old job, uh, we, you know, we were just eight hours a day for four days a week for a while. And so we decided, all right, we're going to, ooh, that girl's kind of cute. Uh, we decided, let's let's go to the gym. We went to the gym every single weeknight, for the most part, um, to, okay, yeah, just cross in the middle of the road, old lady, and walk very slow. There's no cars behind me. Why couldn't you just waited like 10 seconds and gone behind me instead of right when I'm trying to go down the street? <sighs> old people. Um, but, yeah. So, gonna start heading back to the gym again, which will be nice uh, to get some exercise since, you know, I don't do much these days. I just sit around uh, and watch YouTube videos or movies all day long, which is why, you know, I didn't make a video yesterday because I didn't do anything at all the whole day. I did actually go get lunch, but uh, I couldn't think of anything exciting enough to make a video about, so I decided against it. All right, car, I'm going to go around you. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on, uh, in my life. Uh, hopefully my glasses should be finished soon. I need to call my, my madre, because that, my parents' phone number is the one that, uh, I gave them to call when the glasses were finished, and, uh, I haven't heard yet about them at all. Hopefully you could see me. I just realized the camera was pretty low before, but hopefully you could still see me for that part of the video. Um, but, yeah, what was I talking about? I was talking about something, oh, the gym. Yeah, but that'll be nice. Uh, and, speaking of old people, because of that one that, you know, walked in front of me, I was watching this video today of this elderly man who went out to pay his water bill and ended up getting on the freeway going the wrong way and then pretty much just couldn't find an exit and the state trooper had to, like, really zoom out there. Uh, that's a terrible. He had to zoom out there. He had to drive very quickly with a siren on, people pulling over, all sorts of which ways for him. He gets on the freeway just in time uh, to get to one of those little spots on the freeway barriers where there's a space for like cops and stuff to turn around. And pretty much as soon as he pulls through that gap, the dude's car, the dude runs right into the hood of his car. Um, the cop said, you know, I didn't have time to get out and set a spike strip or something to to uh, stop the car, so he used the hood of his car to stop this man uh, from driving down the wrong side of the road. Which you'd think, like, okay, if you're a sane person and you're driving, you're like, oh, crap, I just got on the freeway going the wrong way, pull over into the side, just stop. Just stop driving and wait for a gap to pull back in and turn around. Like, that's what I'd do. If I, if I somehow manage to get going the wrong way on the freeway, which, you know, that sometimes there's freeway entrances that are confusing, and you're like, oh, is this where, oh, no, 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 do not enter, okay, don't go, like, right here in front of me, there's a big sign right there that says, do not enter, some foolish person going, like, the on the street over there, somebody might think, oh, that's where I go on the freeway, it's possible, like, you know, Regular people, not always just old people, could possibly get on a freeway going the wrong way if they're not paying attention. Um, and so, like, I understand how it could happen, not necessarily just to adults, I mean, to elderly people, even though that's the only cases I've ever really heard of it. Um, but, I mean, yeah, the thing you do, you stop. You don't keep driving down the side of the freeway at 50 miles an hour like this elderly man was. And, you know, it's it's crazy. Um, the thought process of an older person when they, I don't know what it is, where they just think that what they're doing is fine or not that big of an issue, but it kind of is. Um, but yeah, so saw that today. That was interesting, to say the least. You better not pull out. Oh, God, I hate people that are stupid drivers. Why are they so stupid? Um, and I also heard, uh, you know, all the stuff with Joe Paterno and the coach of 
touching the little whatever happened with that. And, you know, they stripped uh, Joe Paterno of all of, like, his victory, all of his wins that he had during his whole career and and uh, all this stuff. They took down the statue they had of him. Oh, no. Uh, no, was it him? Whoever the coach was. I don't I don't m- remember if that's his name or not. I think it was Joe Paterno. I'm not sure. Uh but yeah, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, just because he knew about it and didn't do anything, they took all of his glory away from him, pretty much, uh, without him there to defend himself, since he's passed away now. But all sorts of crazy stuff happening in the world. Um, but you know, you just gotta have fun with it still, and try not to let that stuff weigh you down. Uh, which you know, I heard about some people being concerned about going to the movies because of the issue that happened in Colorado, which, you know, if I lived in Colorado, I might be a little skeptical about going to a theater. But, I mean, here in L.A. and Burbank and stuff, like, uh, I mean, it's it was it was an isolated incident that happened out there, and I don't see that happening here. And, uh, one of my, my roommate, words, my roommate said that when he went to a, a movie down in San Diego, they now have security guards that will walk through the theater uh, every once, every like 10 minutes or so, he said, or something. Uh, so, you know, it's it's nice that they upped security um, because, you know, like I said, that thought it was always in the back of my mind where there's so many people in there just sitting there ready to watch a movie and com- pretty much completely unprotected by people and... You know, I always also thought, too, like, what, how many of these people could have snuck in and nobody's checking their tickets or anything to see, you know, like, if they should be in this theater or not, but that's a, you know, completely different thing. But, uh, yeah, I just got to Costco, so I'm gonna head out, I guess, and go get myself some food. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and yeah, so long, Bye bye yeah